Hey everybody, it's Brenda. How are you all doing today? Excuse me, I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. I meant to before I got started, but it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you all are doing well, beginning, having a nice beginning to your weekend. Um, so, want to apologize for the sudden stop from my last video. We were working on our little multi-envelope journal here. And I was going along just yakking right away. And I looked up and my screen was blank. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen today, but it may. So I wanted to show you um, what we, <laughs> what uh, I finished with. Um, on our little journal here that we've been working on. So I tied it off with some seam binding, like so. And I think you pretty much saw the front cover, so that's the front. Then we had this little um, flip here, and we made the uh, card that goes in. I did put some paper in here, some little journal, journaling space. I know I mentioned it that we could. I didn't dare put very many, but um, it, did, it does have some journaling space. Um, we did this, I think, together. This is the flip out. And this, I'm not sure if we did the journaling card, but that's the journaling card for that area. that goes right in there and I put a little tab on it. This flips out. We have our little flip here with the two pockets. I don't, I didn't put anything in the pockets, but I will. So that's the flip pockets. And then in here, let's see, I think that comes later. But we, I think we did this. We put these flowers on and everything and decorated this area. This pocket here, I think, goes to the back. So we'll come back to that. Um, not sure if we did this together. And I'm looking to see if I'm still on. <laughs> so um, this... Oh, okay. This is the card that fits right in there. And I'm not sure if I had made that. I think I did because I remember talking about the little chipmunk. So that slides right down in there. If you got that far on my video. So that goes like that. Um, then we go to the back. I did put, um, I finished uh, decorating the back because I don't know if you guys got that far. I don't think you did. And um, I did put Velcro to keep it closed. And that um, fits right there pretty well. Let's see if you, that's the other side of it. So we have this, this was a side pocket here. So I put this little journaling card, if I can get it out. I made that to go in there. Oops, and I'm stuck. So that slides right in a layer. This flips down. I decorated this. This is just some washi tape at the bottom. Um, this, this is the one that goes in right here. I had to stop and think. Where is it? I know it's in there because it shows up. <laughs> this is the one that shows up on the back side. So that slides right in there. And this goes back. Okay, let me slide that back down a little bit. So this was, this was very fun to put together. I loved doing this one. So, oh, here we are, over here. 
does get confusing. Okay, so that was that pocket that slides in there for this window. I put a little um, decoration here, a little flower, put the number eight. And up here is um, another one window that we made. And I just threw a little card in there, Tim Holtz card. I thought went well with that. So that is our slide that to put it in the window so that is our totally decorated little multi envelope journal i love how it turned out i hope you guys were able to uh uh work along with me and make one i just wanted to to show you that you could put some paper in it works just fine little journaling space and I may be making another one of these I love them absolutely fun to do so I'm going to put this aside and show you my next adventure um also I, w I just wanted to let you know that um I did put my recent botanical journal and I'll let you show I'll let you see that to remind you what it was looking like this one here this one I did put in my shop, so that is available in my Etsy shop, and that's the one that has the little peekaboo window, 1851, and it's the um, botanical, uh, Rachel's botanical uh, digitals that I used. So this one is in my shop. Absolutely love how this one turned out, and... Um, just to let you know, because last time um, I got a little bit of a unhappy, um, a little, a few unhappy ones because I put it in the shop without letting anybody know that it was going in the shop. And um, because at that time I didn't know for sure that I was going to put it in because I fell in love with it like I, like I did with this one, but I will, you know, I do have it in my shop, but um, yeah. And um, a, a couple of them said, we didn't, I didn't know you were going to put it in your shop. So this time I'm trying to make a advanced, not really advanced because it's already in my shop, but I'm trying to let everybody know that yes, it is in my shop. My new project, and thank you all for being, um, you know, patient with me <laughs> about that. Uh, my new project, Medi Medieval Mirage Botanical Illumin Illuminated. Botanical Illuminated. This is the current one that I am going to be working on. I'll show you some of the pages. Some of them are, have been cut out. And um, this is some of the add-ons. Beautiful. Love the lilacs. And... Um, I'm just flipping through real quick to, to give you an idea of what the pages will look like. But like I said, these are the add-ons. She gives a lot of um, a lot of pages to her digitals. Love her work. This one. Whew, sorry, but it's hot in here. So yeah, I love love her work lots of add-ons lots of add-ons and lots of pages and this is one of the reasons why i chose this for my cover i love the colors that go with this and this to me is medieval with this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Emblem. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. This emblem reminded me of medieval. This is all, uh, this is embossed and gilded and um, with botanical. On the back side, it is embossed, but it doesn't have the, of course, gilding on it. And it is um, 
like an inch and a half, I think, spine, which will uh, be reinforced with um, yeah, it's an inch and a half spine and that will be reinforced with some tape. And I'm not sure how old this cover is, but it does talk about the Great War. So um, you can tell that the spine has been well uh, worn more than the rest of the cover. But that's no problem to me. Um, this will be more than likely covered anyway. And I just loved how it was made. So that's going to be my cover. And the colors, I thought, went well with this cover. And these are, um, like I said, the add-ons. I just have to do a lot of work because because I don't have any and I love she gives all these uh, words to go with and that's um, I have to print out the um, the digital pages the um, you know the other part this is the add-on I have to still print out the other uh, pages that go with it the main journal pages that's what I'm trying to say so that is going to be my next project. I may be doing some of the uh, making of the ephemera and stuff on, online. But first, what I have to do is fix my journal cover. And I thought I would do that with you guys. All I need to do basically is, I think this is, well, there is a little bit of um, uh, oh gosh, I can't think. Anyway, I'm going to glue down this here. That's the first line of business because I don't want that flapping around. So I want that glued down. I've got some loose pieces that I want to get rid of. And I think I will, I'm just going to tear that off right there. And this, they're just um, hanging by a thread. And I'm going to cut this right there. That one is down, that one needs to be down. Oh, I, get, I could, I guess I could also, um, I should have given you the size of the book too, but I think the cover is going to be about six and a half by nine, Nine and a quarter, approximately. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Six and a half by nine and a half cover. And then it has a one and a half inch spine. So, first order of business is to get my spine. Hopefully, stabilized. And uh, this is just masking tape that I got off Amazon. Let's see where do I want to put it? About right here. I don't want to go too far, too far over. And I don't want it all the way down. Good cut. Almost cut my finger. I'm telling you, I shouldn't be using sharp objects. Okay, so that's there. I'm gonna turn it around this way and put another piece on this side. And then 
I think what I'm going to do is add another piece right in, right down.